Let's go ahead and do some house cleaning, I'll show you. All right. I call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit, Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, mother Gaia, universe, source, the divine, to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and of light. I call personally upon Baba Obatala, Mama Oya, and Baba Ogun to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. Help me to pick up on the energy, number, synchronicity, and vibrations of my cards. And so it is. So mode it be. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. Yo. So we have on the Kliz arc, it is 624, so that breaks down to 6, 6, which breaks down to 12. 12 is the number of the hanged man. So some of you all could be in a position where you're looking at things from a different perspective, seeing things from a different angle, maybe with a different lens. This is a sacrificial position that spirit will put you in so that you can see something different because maybe you've been so one track minded or maybe there was a level of stubbornness or hard headedness where you was trying to do something the same way over and over and over. And now spirit has flipped you over so you can see things like, oh, well, maybe if I do it this way, maybe this can result from it. So it's just like just having like that epiphanous moment or an aha moment. Six is also dealing with the um, the the lovers. Um, the six really is telling me that maybe this is a duplicitous energy where there could be um, this energy of. Um, a masculine feminine energy. So I don't know if maybe there's someone looking at another person and having some sort of epiphanous moment or seeing someone's worth and value. But we all know that on that hanged man card, the crown is like illuminated and is bright as if they're having this aha. So they're seeing something um, differently for the first time and it's making them feel a different way. It's making their emotions kind of come to surface. Um, that 12 breaks down to three and three, something's going on out there, but, um, that six, six, 12 breaks down to three and that's the Empress. So the Empress is very beautiful, very attractive, very alluring, very invigorating, very much just the, the, you know, divine feminine energy. Um, this is a very leader like she's a leader, a boss. She's like the matriarch. Um, this is the maternal figure. This is like that Umi, you know, this is someone very wise as well, very powerful, uh, because she, along with that emperor, the masculine version of her, um, they rule empires. So this is a very powerful energy, very regal, very royal, very self-aware, self, um, disciplined, powerful, beautiful, attractive. Like this is someone that knows their worth. And this is how someone is seeing you now. Maybe someone from your past may not have seen you in the same light in the past, or maybe this is someone that may, um, have miss, uh, you know, cause I was getting miss miscommunication, miss someone could have misunderstood you. Um, and now there's this like epiphanous moment where they're kind of seeing you, uh, in a completely different light, um, that three also can speak to heartache, pain, you know, this could be someone that caused a lot of pain or someone who's in a lot of pain. Cause I'm also getting like the three of swords. Maybe someone is trying to muster up the courage because I'm seeing like the three of wands to take action. Cause that's like a ready, set, go energy, but that's also speaking to something manifesting that you've been kind of anticipating or waiting for. So it's like something's coming, like you're expecting something. So maybe someone's just kind of mustering up the strength, courage and wise dome to take action, to go towards something, um, to move out of a space of, you know, heartache and pain and loss. Um, that's a hard energy to, to kind of navigate and heal. So it does take time for you to really get to, 
um, the root of that and maybe someone is finally for the first time seeing how they contributed to some sort of situation which ended terribly or which ended abruptly or which ended with you know ish hitting the fan so maybe someone's now finally seeing things from a different light like finally seeing things from someone else's perspective even maybe they've been very selfish in that regard where they were only one track minded where they could only see their vantage point and they can't see anyone else's um, so they weren't self-aware 11 11 on the clock I do feel like you have a divine connection spiritual connection bond or some sort of tie with someone a very strong spiritual uh, connection which definitely I'm feeling is 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 in regards to love because that four the 11 11 that that four breaks down to um, or that 11 11 breaks down to four uh, deals with the heart chakra so this is really you know matters of the heart something that someone is perhaps maybe starting to realize like there's a missed opportunity here um, and they're not taking action because this is a very contemplative state I'm thinking of like the four of swords uh, where someone is kind of not not taking action because they're kind of like just kind of going back to see um, how things resulted in the way that they did. So this is really a form of like recovery. Um, you recover because you can take onus and accountability perhaps for what you've done. So this is a very, um, this is a position of healing. Like to me, this is someone who is, you know, taking onus and taking accountability is taking, taking responsibility for what you may have done or for your contribution in a situation breaking down. The four of cups is the result of someone now realizing the mistakes that they've made and how they could have missed some opportunity because now we're seeing that, um, you know, the three where, you know, they're seeing you as a goddess, as a, you know, a god, a king or a queen, you know, someone that is, um, you know, very, very attractive. And, and when you know your worth and value, you never settle. So there could be that, you know, energy of someone kind of preparing um, perhaps to say something or express something, but that's just what I'm getting intuitively. Let's see what the cards have to say, but let's see also what songs playing on the playlist. So we have Ronnie Lewis. Some of you all could be dealing with someone named Ronnie or Lewis first, middle or last. And the name of this song is called tidal wave. So I definitely feel with tidal wave, there's big emotions that this person has. And I feel like, you know, this is someone whose feelings may run deeper than they may show. So this person may try to present as someone's very reserved, someone that's very, you know, much in control. But like when it comes to their emotions, it, it, it is it is um, it flows very deeply. Um, and this is um, um, who got the props instrumental but this is the original and so when I hear who got the props maybe this person does see you in a light of someone very successful very powerful as I said that empress energy is just naturally attractive everyone is attracted to the empress and the emperor um, everyone admires and aspires to be that they want to you know encompass you know in um, they want to encompass or embody um, the characteristics or attributes you know um, of that goddess and that god energy so this is beautiful beautiful energy because someone wants to give you props it's like who got the props it's like you got you got the props because you're seen as like an empress or an emperor with that uh with that uh six six reference so that's what the number was when we started the reading what we have on the bottom of the deck is another six so you had 666 as your messages today. Six could be a very um, significant number for some of you all. This could be perhaps you are uh, born on October 24th. Uh, maybe you're born on um, November 6th, November uh, 7th, 8th, because uh, this is 78. So I'm just, you know, but six is also... Um, you know, that number of the lovers that we was just speaking to. And when I was speaking to duplicitous uh, earlier, that is someone who is, you know, very emotionally and, and, and mentally in harmony, in balance, because that's the feminine and masculine energy. Um, the, ma the masculines rule logic, rule the mind, where the feminines rule, you know, the heart, rule emotions. So I do feel like maybe you are all, you all are in harmony in that regard. And this is the reason why you're attracting love to you. Um, you are coming into a spiritual partnership. This could be someone from a past life with spiritual career. Many of you are intuitives. You could be channelers. You could be someone who is like a Reiki healer, shaman, light worker. Maybe you're a spiritual practitioner, a witch warlock, someone who definitely does magic. You know, this is someone who, you know, may have a business. 
um, where you provide certain services, where you sell esoteric um, products or where you tap into, you know, the energy, whether you do tarot card readings, whatever it is that you do, cardamancy, tea leaves, coffee cup readings, um, whether you read, you know, cowrie shells, um, there's so many different ways to read. You could be a scryer where you read, like I said, tea leaves or you read smoke or you read, um, you know, there's so many th things, but you, you are definitely um, gifted, sensitive, uh, I definitely feel like you have a lot of uh, activity right now. So pay attention to like your dreams. Um, you could be having some vivid dreams or lucid dreams, either or pay attention to them, write things down because I feel like there's messages being um, transmitted or downloaded at this time, especially with the whole, you know, solar eclipse energy. We're still in that energy regardless. We have many things happening celestially like Jupiter and Uranus is in conjunction as well as Mercury. Mercury and retrograde, so much happening. We're going to have a full moon in our sign. So I do feel like spirit is telling you, pay attention to your intuition, but also you also have good instincts when it comes to business. So trust that. I also feel like whatever your business is that you may be pursuing your personal business, like you may have a job, but you also have your own personal business that you're jump starting or something that you may, you know, um, be starting for the first time, whatever the case may be, maybe you're revamping things, whatever the case may be. I feel like this is something that you're very passionate about, something you love. And with that love and intention, it's only going to grow. It's only going to harvest. So continue to do things that you love because I feel like that's what spirit is, is, is encouraging you to do. Many of you are like also like workaholics, like you, you are very like, um, disciplined or focused in a particular career. Um, and spirit could also be telling you like, take some time out to, you know, make sure you stay harmony, you know, stay in harmony, like have that work life balance. Like don't just be all work, no play, because that also can be like, you know, that's a bad habit because you want to have that balance. So spirit is also, you know, kind of telling you to pay attention to self love, self care, remain in harmony, remain in balance. Cause a lot of you are so determined to succeed that you are, um, not, you know, showing yourself enough love. Like you're not taking enough time to pamper yourself or to treat yourself or to get the rest that you may need or to exercise as much because you're constantly on the go. Maybe you're sitting in front of a laptop too long. Maybe your eyes are starting to strain. Maybe your legs are starting to bother you, your knees, because you're just sitting all day. So it's like start moving around and shaking so you can get the flow, the blood flowing again. Start taking care of self. You know, this is really about self-love as well. Staying in harmony, staying in balance what we have playing on the playlist right now is nipsey hustle ocean views so with the ocean views this is definitely water energy that's all about you know taking that time to clean clear and cleanse you know getting rid of anything that may be causing a lot of stress and aggravation in your life you know the ocean is really a space of you know as i said like the water element is very much your element. So you're in your power, but there's also things that may be hidden that could also be coming to surface. You know, maybe there's deep rooted feelings or passions or certain emotions that may be coming to surface at this time during Mercury retrograde. Maybe certain people from your past could be coming in. Whatever that is, pay attention to your intuition because the six and then the ocean view, that's water. Water also deals with your intuition. When we think of the moon, the full moon that's coming up, moon also you know, and it was just 1919. So this is about things that, that, that you've clipped out of your life. So this is definitely about those endings, those karmic endings, those karmic completions. And now you emerging as someone different because of you changing your perspective or changing how you were presenting yourself, changing, you know, certain habits or behaviors, changing even the people that you were associating with. This is a very powerful energy of, to me, self-awareness because now you're in balance or in harmony or emotional equal equilibrium. So with ocean views, with views, I definitely feel like you had a different vantage point or there could be someone who has a different vantage point now um, because they're looking at things uh, from an emotional standpoint with ocean views. So this is someone who's really taking that time to connect with themselves um, emotionally and they're trusting their intuition in this process. On the split, we have 87, another six. So we got 78, 87. That's a mirrored number. Whoever you're attracting to you, this is definitely, like I said, maybe a twin flame. That energy um, is someone who mirrors yours. So this is shadow. Um, this is someone that reflects back to you 
um, what you need to work on and you reflect back to them what they may need to work on. So with spiritual career, I feel like you learn to trust your intuition. And I feel with someone else with synchronicities, I definitely feel like they're also starting to recognize those similarities and familiarities that you all have in one another because these cards are one and the same. It's just flip. So where it's purple on the here, on the outside here is purple on the inside. Where it's pink on the inside here is pink on the outside. So this is just showing that this is a mirrored reflection. So this could be someone that's matching your fly, your vibration, that twin flame energy we saw with 11-11 is confirming that along with these cards coming out. And then the six, like I said, that's six, six, that's um, the healing card in this deck. So six, six, both of you have been healing from past pains. Both of you have had you know, to really take that internal self audit. The six deals with the lovers, as I said, but if you break down 15, the devil, that is also the number six. So many of you have had to do shadow work. Like I said, this is, you know, going deep within, um, healing at a soul, you know, at a soul level and not just doing surface stuff. So this is really like, you know, going through the muck of it. This is facing one's demons. You know, this is making, um, you know, those necessary changes, but this is also someone that could have reflected back to you those very things that you could have been, um, exhibiting, or maybe someone was, you know, deflecting how they were, um, presenting, uh, to make you, you know, the villain or whatever in the story. Either way, there was a lot of shadow work that needed to be done on both parts and a lot of healing as well. Uh, because when you break down both of these 1515, 15, which is the devil, both of you had to do some shadow work and we have black butterfly playing. And I was speaking to transformations and startling metamorphosis, two, 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 two on the clock. And that's four, four, which is eight. So that is the karmic cycles that you've experienced experienced and had to uh, bring to a close, bring to an end. What goes around comes back around again. So for those of you that were planting seeds in good faith and in good intentions, then those seeds will harvest during this eight universal year. And others who were really planting seeds with, you know, jealousy and envy and hate and visceral, those seeds too shall blossom and bloom. Um, not blossom and bloom, but they shall also um, reap what they sow. I should say it like that. But with black butterfly, I definitely feel like um, that butterfly reference speaks to, you know, your startling metamorphosis, as I said, like emerging someone new. And it's because you did your shadow work and whoever you're attracting to you is definitely like your divine counterpart, because I feel like they too have had to learn similar lessons or go through similar, um, circumstances. You too will have some sort of understanding of one another or respect for one another. Um, and you will value each other as well. I see the, uh, 10 karmic completion as I'm speaking about you wrapping up karmic cycles and this card is literally trying to fly out my hand and as i'm talking and showing you transformation with the black butterfly song and this is by um denise williams someone could be dealing with someone named denise or williams first middle or last but yes this is the end wrapping up a cycle we even saw 1919 which was 10 and i was saying that she was wrapping something up tens definitely represent you know karmic cycles coming to a close but it also shows just how much you have um endured you know you've really had to um overcome a lot of obstacles you may have learned that the people closest to you were enemies you may have had to you know learn that people were setting you up or plotting on you or people were definitely def defamation of character like defaming your character lying on your name throwing dirt on your name maybe cheating on you behind your back you discovered a lot of lies a lot of deception around you and it's because you were giving people the benefit of the doubt that didn't deserve it. And so this made you feel like you were really alone and and beyond your own imagination, um, you couldn't even see yourself getting past that, but you continue to stay focused on just getting out of that cycle of stuck in stagnancy. Like it was a very stuck energy, like whoever, whatever you were dealing with, with this dark, gloomy, gray card, this just shows how dark of a period that you all have finally been released from. This is a cord that has been cut. As I said, that solar clips is about clipping things, people, personalities, circumstances, situations, belief systems, habits, behaviors, all of that gets cut out because it was not serving you. And you realize that when you started to look around you and notice that there was no one there in those tough cycles, there was no one there in those rough cycles, but they were always there when they needed something or when you had something to offer. But other than that, 
It was nothing but opportunists around you. So now that you've clipped yourself free, you feel lighter. All of the burdens you were carrying from those relationships, you are now free of. And so this is now a new beginning for you technically because every ending denotes a new beginning. 67, 13, the death card in traditional tarot. But this says physical activity. Showing just how hard you've worked, showing just how much time, energy you've had to put into it. You were very di disciplined in your journey, in your quest to be free, to liberate yourself from something that had you feeling so stuck, you know, something that had you feel like, you know, it was just like attached to you stuck to you this is a sticky energy this is a dark cloud you know this is a very um very depressed you know depressing energy as well like there's not a lot of you know this this is a very you know and, and if this wasn't what you experienced per se this is just what this this intended it intended on stealing your joy you know it intended on robbing you of your happiness and your peace and 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 your your solitude or your security this is something that's intentionally um trying to bring you down these are lessons that you've had to learn um, about the people that you may have trusted that were definitely like um, saboteurs. You know, they were definitely like saboteurs. But here you are liberating yourself, cutting yourself free from all of the negativity, all of the drama, and you were very active in doing so. This is not someone who's afraid. This is not someone who is, you know, um, passive. This is someone who's stepping up and saying what they mean. This is someone asserting themselves. You know, this number 413 breaks down to four. And four is, you know, the number of the divine masculine. So not only did we see the three when we opened up the reading with that six, six, the 12, the three, but we now also see this four energy. So this is now asserting oneself. Um, and this is the balance, you know, because when the divine feminine shows, up the, the divine masculine energy is not too far behind and as i said you are very attractive in that divine feminine energy 27 27 9 9 changes are abound positive changes though because the the worst is behind you now now you have good things to look forward to now you have so much you know happiness and peace um, that you're going to be able to enjoy because you cut the dead weight because you cut yourself free from the opportunists from the negativity from the negative nancy's the De lion ass larry's and the De debbie downers those are the people you know that you have freed yourself from because like i said this is an intentional energy someone coming around to shit on a good day, you know, someone coming around trying to steal you your joy, trying to steal your sunshine. But this right here, hard work, dedication, drive, discipline, focus. This is someone very in tune, very solid. This four deals with, you know, four is a solid number because it really deals with not only that balance I was speaking to earlier, but when you think of that four, you think of the four cardinal directions, you think of the four elements you know so this is also a very auspicious number same as that seven but that four is really speaking to that balance the stability um and i see that that's where you're at whoever you're attracting to you is someone who's been through like i said similar life lessons people who's also have had to transform something within themselves um you know whether it be emotionally mentally spiritually there's been a major transformation which has sparked some sort of awakening sparked some sort of awakening awareness this also could be a divine masculine coming in for a divine feminine who's willing to put in the work to put in you know that 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 action um so to speak you know that four also was giving off that energy of someone who could you know really have a lot of love in their heart and they're willing to show you they're willing to give you something tangible or offer you something that is very intentional this time around what we have playing on the playlist is we have oshun and this is called Aya's intro. And Oshun is a powerful Orisha, a beautiful Orisha. So with that divine feminine energy we was picking up earlier, Oshun falls right into place with that. That is a very fertile energy, attractive energy, powerful energy, very feminine energy, very seductive energy. But she's also not to be played with. So she's also, you know, that water element. We had that song, Ocean's View, playing. And then we also had another water reference. And I do feel like that's speaking to a feminine energy, someone who has, you know, almost it's like really giving me a, a, a energy of someone who has been through some sort of cleansing. I'm hearing the word clearance in my mind's eye. So there's, there's almost like there's been this clearance, a clearance of a path, um, a cleansing of oneself, you know, from spiritual, um, you know, energies or whatever. But it's a very, um, 
it's, it's, it's a beautiful energy nonetheless. So let's tap in. So who or what is our beloved Scorpios attracting to them? Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection. Let me get a message for my beloved Scorpio spirit. Who or what is my beloved Scorpios attracting to them? So we have right now, let it whip. And this is by Daz. So someone could be whipped. I'm hearing that whip appeal song in my mind's eye by uh, Babyface. So let it whip. This is someone that's definitely whipped. You know, they could be, I don't know if it's P whipped or Diamond D whipped. I don't know if they just, you know, like admiring you from a distance, if they're still intrigued. Like I said, when you're in that divine feminine, divine masculine energy, you are very attractive. So someone could be very much crushing on another person. Uh, spirit of peace, power, and protection. Remember, we're getting the energy of who or what you're attracting to you. And I cut the cards based on however many times I feel. Bottom of the deck, we have this number two, and it says patience. So someone who's been definitely taking their time. Someone making a decision. Someone is kind of like really pondering or trying to choose between two options. Choose wisely. This energy right here with the number two is also making me feel like, you know, because the two deals with the high priestess. So this could be also, look at that 27. Remember we saw 27, 27 early. And I was saying you had a spiritual bond connection, soul tie with someone because we saw that 11, 11 also. But with this two, I'm also seeing like, this is divine time and spirit telling you good things take time to create. I just saw 31, 44. So your angels are aligning you with someone very special. And your angels are also telling you, you know, also very subtly, like this is a very patient person. You know, this is someone that, like I said, take this, takes their time to get it right because this person is obviously whipped on you. You know, we already got whipped. And so this is some, someone that's definitely whipped, um, but they are very patient. You know, they want to come in right. They want to take their time to get it right because they know good things take time to create. So with you, this person could be kind of like indecisive on their approach or trying to choose wisely or trying to, you know, um, have some sort of consultation with someone, a trusted friend or someone that they, you know, go to, or maybe someone is just simply trusting their intuition. And when the time is right, they're going to bust a dope move. 32, 32, that's five, five, that's 10. So that 10, that's that person who could be, you know, maybe wrapping up a cycle as well. Maybe someone is going through some sort of ending. Maybe they're conflicted, stuck, you know, between two, you know, two people or stuck between making a decision and not. So this could be the reason why that's why patience is necessary. I also feel with the 10 and the two, this is three. This person definitely knows that if they do approach you, they need to come correct because this three is giving that empress energy. So they know they can't just come in and sound like the dun, the dun. They trying to get the thoughts together, get it right. The three also is the solar plexus. So this is someone that's going to muster up the strength, courage, and wise dome. This is that person that's also going to be, you know, on some strategic ish, you know, kind of like, you know, strategizing, planning and preparing so that when they do approach you, they don't sound like a babbling idiot. This 27 is saying how they feel about you is this is a very deep bond. This is a very spiritual bond. This goes deep. This runs deep. Just like that song, Ocean View, like this person's feelings and emotions was the first thing I was picking up. It was like, this is someone whose feelings are, they run deep, but they don't communicate it. They don't express it. They don't confess it. This is someone who's recently had this epiphany though, because when we started the reading, we had that 12. So I do feel like whoever you're attracting to you is someone that's obviously seeing you in a completely different light. And I feel it's because you just had a major transformation, major shift in your life. And so you're just shining right now. You may be going through some sort of major breakthrough. You may have had some major victory just recently. Maybe you've started a new job. Maybe you have some sort of new home that you purchased, maybe a driving a new car. You may have a new career. You're just looking new, like brand new. Maybe you lost some weight. Maybe your hair is different. Something about you is new and this newness is making you more attractive. With spiritual partnerships, someone definitely feels like you all have some strong chemistry. Like there is something about you that feels very familiar. It feels like home and this is why they see you as someone that they have a spiritual connection with because they can't shake you. We just had they are whipped. We also was getting the energy like someone crushing. So I feel like this is definitely someone who sees you um, as someone single, independent, stable, self-sufficient, wise, nurturing, loving. You just have everything. Like everything about you is just like, damn, you know, and you're single. So this is mind boggling to them. But they also know that when they do come towards you, they want to get it right because they know you know your worth. They know you know, you know, that that bull crap from when you don't see it. That's why all this indecision, they know they can't come at you that way because they could, they can, you know, risk, 
um, losing you if they come in indecisive and, you know, unreliable with that old janky energy. So the way they're seeing you is someone regal, royal, you know your worth, you're doing your thing, you don't need one, you don't need or want for anything. So this is very intimidating energy that you may be giving off. With this um, Donnell Jones, have you seen her? This person definitely could be, you know, kind of bragging about you. Like, yo, have you seen such and such? Like, yo, they looking good. You know, maybe this is someone that's looking for you, asking about you because they haven't heard from you in a while. But this is someone that still fancies you. This is someone that's finally realizing their true feelings, true emotions, because they were hiding it or suppressing it in the past. Let me get a message of who or what our beloved, how this person feels about our beloved Scorpios. Let me get a message. Thank you, spirit. That was very easy. We got 57. They've been learning from you, beloved. This is someone that may be stalking you or watching you from a distance. Maybe this is someone that has some sort of dummy account and they kind of follow your, your, your social medias or whatever this is. This person has been watching and learning from you. So this is definitely giving off that energy of that same hangman. Because remember the 12 we had when we opened up the reading. So this is that person that has had that epiphany. So they could have been, you know, I'm getting this as someone you know. And this is the card that actually flew out for how they feel about you. But this is on the bottom of the deck. And I I love to expound on the bottom energy because I feel like that's, you know, that's the energy that we're in also. So this person is definitely learning, you know, and they've had to learn because they were placed in that sacrificial position by spirit. You know, they may have had to go through some sort of karma. They may have had to go through some sort of heartbreak themselves because that 12 breaks down to three. And I was picking up somebody suffered a major loss. So someone could be either heartbroken or feeling like they broke another person's heart or vice versa, whatever the case may be, that heartache has taught someone, you know, you treat people the way you want to be treated or you you're going to receive you know you're going to get what you you're going to reap what you sow ultimately someone could have learned that the hard way and now in that position of pain and hurt and 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 recovery that they're going through or having to undergo now they're being forced to see things from the other person's perspective that they may have hurt in the past. And now they're looking at things differently or maybe they're looking at whole situations from their past differently because now their the compassion is there. They can't judge another person um, based off no experience. Now that they have experience with having their heart broken, they can now have a little more compassion to someone that they may have hurt in the past. Um, and so that could be also a, a teachable moment for someone with this teaching and learning. Someone has learned, someone has grown, someone is maturing, someone is realizing that the sun doesn't rise and set on their ass. And so now ultimately it's forcing them to see someone, you know, as a divine feminine or see someone in, in, in their true light. And this is a light that someone always has like, they've always been in that nurturing or loving or tender, caring type of energy, but they kind of almost took it for granted um, because this is someone that was kind of cocky, egoic, or someone who just you know selfish I was getting a selfish person stubborn person hard-headed person and they had to learn the hard way it was like one of those uck around and find out situations and they had to uck around and find out because I feel like when you cut them off when this cycle completely ended when you kind of you know not kind of when you you when your 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 fallback game was like on um you know non-existent don't touch me don't call me don't reach me I'm I'm, I'm disappearing off the fly you know the, the face of the earth type energy they, they realized like you wasn't playing and so now this is forcing them to see like dang you know I really kind of messed up so let's see what we have here so the 32.5 music is um, how they feel about you like your music to their ears what we have playing is we have triumph so this is this is how they feel about you you're having victories I was saying that they were seeing like you as in a victor victorious energy and this is something karmic because we have you know this is like the seeds that you've sown that's why you're getting your just due um, because we have this eight here eight is you know that karmic energy what goes around comes back around again those seeds that you sowed in the past even though the people that you you know were loving and trusting of even though they were stabbing you in the back left and right you didn't let it turn you into a bitter betty what you did was you turned your pain into power and you transformed because this is the eight and eight deals with the strength card so turning pain into power turning your pain into superpowers i should say is now how they're seeing you someone mature someone who's elevated graduate to someone who's expressive now you could be very creative you could be tapping into your divinity that eight um you know also deals with you know someone who is like a star so they could see you in the you know as a star as a wish fulfillment they could see you as someone that 
you know, they admire, you know, maybe they admire your journey with this 32. That's the five, the hierophant. So this is showing like they see that you've spiritually grown. Something about you has matured. You have like gone through some sort of spiritual awakening or you may have some sort of divine knowledge, divine wisdom. Maybe you're musically gifted. You may play instruments. You may play music. You may be someone who is a musician, a producer, or maybe like I said, this is someone that's just like, you know, music to their ears. Maybe the thought of speaking to you or hearing your voice will be like music to their ears because that 32 deals with the throat chakra because that breaks down to five i do feel someone wants to communicate with you and i feel like you know because it says fight the good fight so maybe this person is willing to fight um for you or fight for this connection um i definitely feel like you uh were someone who had to um you know stand in your um, you know, stand in your strength. You had to really be brave. Um, you had to be very daring and risky. You had to really, um, you had to work through a lot of your fears. Um, and that's what makes you super powerful is because you have braved all of that. You've definitely faced your fears. And with this 57, someone has learned tremendously from you. Um, what's hidden in the energy for my beloved Scorpios? Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection spirit. What's hidden in the energy for my beloved Scorpios? Thank you. We have in the bottom of the deck time out. So that's what I was feeling like, you know, and that time out could have been during, you know, the hibernation stage 41 self-discipline. And I was speaking to you all, you know, taking that time to, you know, practice self-love, self-work, self-discipline is 41 again. That's another five. So this could be someone also learning. This is another mirror to how your energy is. This is two fives. So what's hidden is someone is also, you know, kind of, you know, I feel ridding themselves of that ego, cutting themselves from their, you know, faulty belief systems because the five is also a studious energy. So someone could be learning and maturing and growing up. Someone could be speaking to, you know, people that are trusted, like I said, uh, individuals that may be, you know, master teachers or healers or maybe even a, a matriarch or patriarch in their family, like an uncle or auntie or someone like that. But this is someone who is taking onus and accountability as well because they are working on the self. They're working on, you know, growing. This is green. This green deals with like healing so I do feel a healing energy from this person because that four deals with the heart chakra and then this one so they could be healing from past pains wounds and traumas from you know childhood traumas maybe they have you know these um you know, these, these strained relationships with their mothers and fathers, which is why they may present a certain way in their relationships. But this is definitely someone working through it. This is someone that is, you know, taking accountability or taking onus um, and with triumph, I feel like they are going to come out of this situation, you know, stronger, come out of this situation better. Um, we have one, one. So we got two, two here and that's four. So four is the heart chakra. I definitely feel the outcome is saying that, you know, the time that you take to heal thyself is the time that's going to help you love yourself. And when you love yourself, then you know thyself. So the time that you take away from, you know, all of the external noise, you know, from other people's unsolicited advice or from energy vampires or people that no longer serve your highest good or faulty belief systems, the longer, you know, the time that you take away um, from those, you know, kind of energy vampiric type of relationships or connections and go within and heal from the inside out, the, the, the stronger, the happier, uh, the brighter, you know, your future, your new beginning is going to be, um, timeout is necessary because what it does is it provides a reset, you know, it provides that, that ability to, you know, kind of, um, reconvene on, on a, 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 a more solid, uh, footing. Um, but this five, one, three, Four. This four is saying that I feel like love is coming in because I'm the four is given eleven eleven again. That four um, is the heart chakra, but that also deals with the divine masculine. Um, so I also just feel it's just a recovery period as well. Um, I feel like there's a lot of healing, or a lot of recovering, you know, a lot of reflecting, introspecting, and that allows for wiser decisions to be made moving forward. So what is the outcome for my beloved Scorpios? Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection. Spirit, thank you, Spirit. Wow, you got a lot of messages. And 66 healing, which I mentioned earlier to you. So what did I say? A lot of healing taking place and spirit was like, that's right. And it's because there's been a lot of hurt. You know, someone could have been suffering with this eight, you know, someone is getting a little stronger. I feel, I feel like someone could have been suffering from some, you know, uh, diseases, some pain, some ailments, some health issues, but there is, you know, someone getting stronger because that eight deals with the strength card. 
So I do feel like, you know, this healing that's taken place is going to, um, I feel, humble another person or it has humbled another person. What we have that flew out is 87. These are all for the outcome. So you have that 66 healing, which was on the bottom of the, uh, this actually flew out, my bad. So that's 66. So healing. 87, that's another six. So you got 666. I feel like spirit is telling you that you need to um, really focus on your connection, like really dedicate your time and energy towards your spiritual gifts, like towards really um, strengthening those gifts. So developing those connections with your, your guides, your angels, your ancestors, your deities that you work with. Like it's really time to really tap into the energy. Um, and not focus on material things. I feel like this is a time spirit really wants you to focus all of your attention on your spiritual um, connections, your spiritual gifts, or developing them, or honing them, or strengthening them. Because uh, this energy here is just, it is really um, saying that there's too much emphasis or focus on financial or material or the external, I should say, and not on um that internal or that in that that spiritual connection so grounding oneself meditating more doing yoga taking nature walks going out for for um daily walks um you know writing scribing visualizations techniques like those are ways you can connect to your, you know, to your higher self. So that is what spirit wants you to focus on. Um, and also there's a lot of, of, of divine interventions taking place. And, you, you know, you may be missing some of those uh, signs and synchronicities. This is yet another six. So you got six, 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 six. So six, 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 six here. All of these are sixes. And six might be, and remember six came out of the reading earlier when we started the reading. So that number came out with the time. And then we also started seeing all those synchronicities. So this is just telling me with the six, balance, harmony, equilibrium. Those are the connections. Those are the bonds that you will be developing with people. Like everything has to be harmonized. I feel you are attracting like minds. I feel things are lining up for you. I feel there is a flow that is taking place where things are starting to, you know, connect. It's a very beautiful energy because that six is a duplicitous energy and it's come out several different times, which is confirming that there is a harmony or a balance um, that is happening. And this could be in the form of love even. A uh, double number, you know, tells me you're attracting someone that's a like mind. This is someone, as I said, they've they've gone through several, you know, similar hurts, similar pains, similar lessons, but they've healed, you know, and they're healing just like you. With this 37 time out, definitely someone you haven't communicated with in a while, but this is someone that they still think of you, you know, from time to time. I feel like they take the time out to think of you or look you up or check in, like, you know, maybe they Google search you. This is someone with a lot of passion and a lot of attraction. And this could be, you know, some new boo. This could be someone new, you know, because you took the time out to work on yourself. Now you're attracting new, you know, and maybe even some old, you know, because this six love is saying that you are, in fact, attracting someone that loves you, you know, and this love is, that's the lover. So this is someone that I was picking up on and here it is. And this is like, maybe this is someone that you had to take a time out from, you know, and, 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 and during that time away, during those, you know, those periods away, this is someone that definitely, you know, is now seeing things very clearly because this yellow in the symbol is definitely telling me someone has had some sort of illumin illumination. And remember, we have had that, uh, you know, that 12, the hangman come out as well. So someone, you know, someone definitely has changed their perspective. The same cards are coming out, 67, physical activity. So this is definitely someone that's willing to put in the work. I'm hearing action, you know. <laughs> I'm hearing action. They ready to be action. They, 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 they ready for action. Action. Yep, manifestation. Some of y'all could have manifested this, called this in. I definitely feel like some of y'all could have been responsible for all of this new love or some something new that's coming in, some new boo that's coming in. So let's tap in. Let's get some messages from Tarot, and then we're going to wrap it up. You're just going to So let's see what we get. Bottom of the deck. Look at that. Hangman on the bottom of the deck. I can't make this ish up. 
And what was I talking about? Illumination and clarity. Something's manifesting in real time. This is someone's intentions, thoughts, someone, you know, put in all of that energy, whether it be visualizations, writing manifestations, um, you know, in their, their, their uh, journal, writing manifestation rituals, whatever the case, candles, whatever it is, someone's seeing someone in a whole new light. Someone is finally seeing the light. Look at that. Someone sees your worth and value. I just told you this. Someone is now seeing you, someone independent, self-sufficient, self-reliant. I was telling you, you was in this energy, like, you know, single and, 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 and doing your thing. Multi-talented, you know what I'm saying? Like someone who holds the fort down, like you take care of the babies, you can make your own money, you could be creative. What did I say about decisions? This is decisions. This could even be you, you know, needing to make a decision about someone who was indecisive in the past. You know, but I definitely feel like this person could also be reflecting on when they were confused in that confused state. Because remember, we had the two patients here. So someone is patiently, um, you know, kind of sorting through whatever confusion they were having about another person. And this is doing part to their in, you know, um, their, you know, their, how do you say their, their lack of like their insecurity? I feel this is more insecurity because the heart is crossed. So they're not even open to love. So that's confusing because they truly feel love. You can see the water behind them and it's kind of waving. So this, the waves wouldn't take place if there wasn't any emotion to begin with. So this is something maybe that they're hiding, something that they're, you know, were deceiving themselves of, you know, but this person now is looking at this from a different perspective and they're realizing perhaps maybe that was some self-sabotage or maybe that was a moment that they're not as, you know, proud of, you know, look at this, the chariot. So this is someone now willing to come in, take charge be more assertive, go after what they want. You know, this is someone, maybe that's how they see you as someone having victories, breakthroughs. We just had triumph playing. And this is a very triumphant energy also with the chariot because this is, you know, this is yin yang energy as well. This could represent twin flame as well. But this is also saying like you're moving ahead, powering ahead, you know, after this, you know, karmic cycle closes. You know, something has come full circle. So now you can move forward. Now there is forward movement. I'm hearing the word momentum. So something is, you know, moving forward very quickly, abruptly. Someone's coming in either quickly and abruptly. We got the two of cups. I mentioned the two of cups. This is two people giving to one another equally. You know, this is good things take time to create. I was speaking of that with the two here. So this is clarifying the 10 karmic cycle. So when you, you know, release your ex, when you clear out, you know, your, your, your trash, <laughs> let me not call people trash. That's cruel. But it, when you clear out the negativity out of your life and we just have 52, 52, which is seven, seven, which is 14. That's about temperance, divine timing. That's about patience. Real love can come and real love can only come when two people have worked on healing themselves. When two people have actually taken the time to do the work because a lot of people talk about doing the work, but you actually and your person have taken the time to do the healing. So you may have been, you know, took some time away. You know, you know how we Scorpios like to disappear. I just reappear. You know, I know, <laughs> but you take that time to do your work and look what's waiting for you on the other side. So this beautiful energy of what the overall energy is, is that you, have someone that's ready to offer you love because they are ready for love themselves. Their heart chakra is open. And this is someone that has something to offer and you have something to offer them. So what we have on the bottom of the deck, we have the nine of swords. What did I say about someone having some sort of regrets or someone realizing, you know, that they've made some more wrong decisions or they feel like they've missed some sort of opportunity. Maybe that, pa you know, that patience, this, this is growing impatient perhaps, or maybe someone's having some, you know, some difficulties with choosing, but this is a guilty conscience. You know, this is someone that feels like maybe they pushed love away or maybe they are the reason why, um, you know, something could have possibly ended in the past, you know, but that's, this is definitely someone resting on a guilty conscience or someone waking up, you know, with heavy regrets, you know, heavy regrets. This is stress. This is ruminating, pining, overthinking. This is analysis, paralysis. This is even nightmares waking up in the middle of the night. You know, this is someone dreaming about another person. We got Beyonce, I care. So this is someone, like I said, they care about you. Their emotions run deep, but they try to push them down and repress them and suppress them only to feel, you know, to discover like they care about you. They love you, you know, and this too, that this is someone that, you know, they didn't listen to their intuition initially, 
But I feel now they're starting to realize that maybe they're communicating with you telepathically as well. This is someone that could be from Texas, but this person with I care, they do care about you. And that's why they're, you know, sitting here struggling at night. You know, the bed is cold, baby. They ain't got nobody to lay with. Them. Nobody worth laying with them, especially when in comparison to you. And this card came right back out. So with patience, spirit is saying like this person is going to require, you know, you know, uh, a little bit of um, grace because they are struggling. That's why spirit is like, be patient because someone could literally be just having a difficult time. Maybe this is someone who's very confused, mentally conflicted. You know, I'm getting a little bit of depression also. Maybe that's why this karmic completion is here. Maybe someone felt like another person was their person only for that situation to fail. It could have been a karmic relationship for someone. Maybe that's why someone is really hurt because maybe someone was wrong. Someone was done dirty. With two, this is secrets too. You know, I feel like someone could have also had some secrets. Maybe someone has just really got someone that's miserable that could be, you know, doing things during witching hours, you know, causing confusion, manipulating someone in someone's energy, doing like commanding spells and rituals, like keeping someone in the dark, you know, trying to block someone from making a decision or causing confusion or keeping someone in a perpetual state of confusion or indecisive. Let me get one more message for why this two of swords is here. I see the king of cups and I was describing the king of cups with that, you know, with, um, you know, that energy of someone who's like, they, you know, their feelings run deep, but they don't express it. They're very reserved. They don't say how they feel. And this could be someone who is not a communicator. They're not a great communicator, nor are they uh, someone who emotes. This is someone that keeps their feelings bottled up. And now it's getting to the point where it's like imploding and it's causing them a lot of confusion and stress. And it, they're in a dark place because I feel like, you know, like I said, with this too, maybe they're, you know, communicating with other people to get some advice on how to, you know, approach the situation or deal with the situation um, because they do care about you. And maybe that's something that they were not honest about initially. And now they're discovering that they are, especially with the King of Cups here. This is someone that does want to offer you something. This is someone that loves you, very devoted. But they do have a difficult time really um, emoting and expressing. This could be that person that was also, you know, kind of distant. You know, maybe they had a lot of uh, offers. They were in, you know, they were confused. I just get confusion with this energy, the number two as well. And that's why it required patience while this person sorted out their own thoughts. So let me get a message. Why Why is this uh, nine of swords here clarifying how this person, who this person is that I love Scorpios are talking to them? Thank you. This was a flighty person, in and out, player, player from the Himalaya. That's why. And now they have regrets. Didn't I say guilty conscious? This is someone regretting, you know, the flighty, unreliable, non-committal, wanted to keep, you know, kind of keep the door, you know, cracked so they could slip in and dip out whenever they wanted. But this is definitely a player. But I also feel this person could be mustering up some strength to like, you know, to approach you or to address you or to say something. Because what did I say? This person has a lot of passion and a lot of attraction and they see you as someone that they love, someone that they're drawn to, someone that they could be trying to manifest. Maybe they see you as a master manifester. This ace of wands is also an instrument, you know, that magis and alchemists use in their magical spells. So this person could literally be trying to manifest you with this 32 tapping into their divinity. You know, maybe they're creatives as well. This is someone that's also in the occult or someone who is an esoteric, you know, maybe they have divine knowledge, divine wisdom as well. Because with the two, this is their energy. They could, you know, that's high priestess, high priest energy. So they're also, you know, tapped in, you know, to the esoteric um you know information and with this 32 i definitely feel like they are ready to communicate so they're taking action i feel like they are manifesting some sort of conversation or manifesting maybe they're thinking this in their head um of words they want to say how they want to approach you or address you we have seven days so some of you may hear from this person within seven days someone's name could be mary J. Or, um, you know, Blige, B, you know, with first, middle, or last. Someone could be from Yonkers, New York. But I definitely feel like this person with seven days, they think of you seven days a week. You know, because I'm just getting like someone who has something that they want to say, but it's like almost bottled up. But now they're getting some sort of, I feel like this is like some sort of motivation or inspiration. Like spirit has given someone a chance to like, boom, go and say what you need to say. Or boom, take action. And, you know, maybe there's some sort of, glimmer of hope or some opportunity that presents itself 
Uh, but this is definitely like a fresh start or a new beginning. They see you as having that, but they also are very attracted to you because this is a very felicious number here. So why is this 32 music here for my beloved Scorpios and how this person they're attracting to them feel about them? This is definitely someone who, you know, likes to be in and out. They see you in your, your energy, very loving, caring, devoted, but you are um, someone who is not like very open um, emotionally. You know, they see that you are, you know, definitely very protective of your heart because your chalice is closed. So you're not even accepting offers. So they see you as very, you know, kind of guarded. But you do have some angels. Remember, I saw that. Um, I saw that four, um, four, four, four. Um, and I saw eleven, eleven. And there are angels all around this throne. So you may have three significant angels that are bringing you in love. And this five, the Hierophant, also deals with institutions, which also could, you know, this, you know, speak to marriage that could be in your future, which is going to be like music to your ears. I'm hearing like, you know, the um, what's that? The bells, you know, the marriage bells. I'm hearing that the church bells. Uh, with music to your ears but this is someone that loves you how they feel about you is you are a goddess as i said you are a queen you're in your energy you're loving tender caring you know you're very emotionally intelligent as well or you're someone that gives to people emotionally so it's like they feel safe around you they feel like they can trust you because you're not someone who um you know who is just selfish it's like you give people um, a safe space they feel like they can speak to you or be real with you or that you are very real or very down to earth someone is feeling left out in the cold and I feel like maybe being left out in the cold has taught someone uh, some self um, you know some independence you know um, taught someone to mature a little bit to to grow up a little bit because this is someone that's felt left out in the cold but they never gave up so what's hidden is that you could have, you know, kept it moving after being abandoned by someone that has these regrets for kind of being in and out and leaving you, um, you know, on pause, you know, not really giving you something secure or real, uh, but just, you know, kind of flighty. And so I feel with this energy, like you kind of felt abandoned. Maybe you have a child with this person or maybe, you know, there was something within this relationship where you felt like you were carrying them through the good times and the bad and they just kind of up and just disappeared and smoked but you never gave up the good fight like you just like that song said you know fight the good fight that's what you did and that was the pain you turned into power this is disappointment this is hurt these people they, they, they their feet should be like numb you know because they're walking shoeless but you kept going you could see them persevering you could see the resilience the determination the drive they've arrived you know, at a place where they can receive the assistance. Maybe some of you turn to the most high. Maybe some of you started to pray to your archangels or to your deities or your ancestors, but you receive some sort of assistance, some sort of support. And this is what has led to you leveling up and growing and evolving. And this has also taught them. So this is almost like, you know, them learning from whatever mistakes they've done in the past. And this is teaching them um, you know, how to better treat people. Um, this is also helping them look at that. I can't make this up. Five of cups, disappointment, regret, you know, they're learning from their mistakes from the past because this person is looking to the past and they're looking at these three cups that done fell and the three cups could in insinuate that maybe, you know, whether it was another person that was involved that could have interfered, um, with the connection with you, uh, because they were distracted, you know, kind of in and out. It could have been multiple people, but they're now having these regrets because they realize that, you know, they could have juggled one too many things and it fumbled you with the six of pentacles. There's definitely one too many things. They were very indecisive when it came to matters of the heart and they did not have anything to offer you. And what they didn't realize is that you were their karmic there to teach them. And they never showed you the attention, the respect, the love that you may have given them. They instead garnered all, you know, gave all of their attention to others that didn't matter. And this is why the, the, the scale is over your head, because you are going to receive karma for this situation, because this is someone that you obviously, um, I don't want to say look up to, but this is someone that you really entrusted with your time and energy. And they're not even paying you any attention. So this could have been someone very like mean spirited. 
Um, this red could speak to someone who could have been a fire sign or someone who has like that rage. Like they'll just like fly off the handle without any like, you know, without any warning. Like you'd be like, damn, like you that mad. But this is that type of person. And so you're sitting here like a beggar and this is what they wanted. But they are definitely going to receive karma because this is someone that intentionally kept you in a perpetual state of confusion. Maybe they were stuck between you and another person that they may have, you know, have planted some seeds and roots with initially and maybe with you you were a good look there was something you know special because this scale could also speak to like there is some tie or some connection but this is also a karmic connection because the scales are here which represent that there was something that there, that was un unjust unjust about this connection but it's because someone was being juggled you know someone was definitely being juggled whilst the other person was getting all this attention and I feel like for a moment this is because this person was holding on to them but something led to disappointment and hurt and regret because maybe that person that they chose over you that they've abandoned you for maybe that's what they're um, now struggling with is disappointment hurt and um, you know heartache ultimately so it's almost like you know you get what you receive what you give so that's why I was saying the seeds that you sow will reap you know whether in good karma or bad so why is this 41 self-discipline and the five of cups here I want to come yep I said karma you this is there was an unjust situation and that's why someone is having these regrets because whatever they chose they're going to realize that you was the one that two of cups is here see that you you cut yourself free from this karmic so these same two of cups that this person finally turns around to discover after whoever they juggled you for or with and after that person leaves, they're going to turn around and realize you was the one all along. And this is what matured them. This is why that that um, teaching and learning is there, because now they see you having some sort of, you know, leveling up or you're having some sort of um, new beginning. And it's making them have these thoughts like they may have made some sort of mistake um, with the seven. This is you're you're guarded now. What did I say about you being very guarded? You're resisting. You know, certain people, especially individuals from your past that might be trying to come pop back up in your life. You are not on that type of time. And this person is going to have deep regrets. This is what's hidden in the energy. You are blocker, blocker, blocking anything that does not serve your highest good because you know your worth and value just like that empress, just like that emperor. So you are blocking out anything that feels like they could double back, come back talking, you know, that coulda, shoulda, woulda ish and then just have you melt in their arms and then you just, you know, just run off into the, the freaking sunlight. No, this is, this is someone that is only coming back because something that they thought was better than you was going to rise to the top and it just fell and crashed and burned and you're like no I'm not having it because you are you know standing on your square and you have self-love now you know this self-love is definitely what self-discipline embodies as well you know this this green that he's rocking that's that's the color of heart chakra along with the green in the symbol of this card so this is really someone that's really fighting you know for their rights um we're fighting for their self-respect, I feel, more importantly. But this judgment, there's a judgment day upon us, you know, upon the Scorpios. And and like I, I kept saying throughout this reading, you reap what you sow. When you sow in good favor and you do things with good intentions, then you have something beautiful to wait, you know, to to blossom up and open up and harvest for you. But when you plant seeds in bad faith with bad intention and ill will, trust you, it's not going to be a pretty sight. So with this judgment card, I feel someone has finally had some sort of wake up call. And I definitely feel like that's why the healing is here because now someone can see the light. They can finally see, you know, the mistakes that they made, or they can finally see the sacrifices that weren't worth it in the end. But this ultimately helps them to become a better person. So with the judgment on the bottom of the deck, I do feel like, you know, something that's you know, like, it's almost like spirit is assuring, like, you're getting your just due, you know, it, everything will work out in your favor. Why is the 66 healing, 87 synchronicity, 6 love, 37 time out, 67 physical activity, and the 8 manifestation, and there goes the 10 of pentacles. So this is you coming into a spiritual connection with someone that is absolutely devoted 
protective, a provider, loyal, communicative, honest. This is someone that thinks of family. This is someone that thinks of legacy. This is someone that will have your back. This is someone that thinks of, you know, generational wealth and family and wills. And this is just, you know, happily ever after energy, happy, happy spouse, happy house type of vibes. That's what I get from that. The cards that flew out, there goes the king of cups. Then I say someone saw you as a star, as a wish fulfillment. This is someone that can't keep their eyes off you. This is definitely a secret admirer or someone that watches you from a distance, you know, because you've been manifesting, you've been healing, you've been growing. And that's that person that's been learning from you as you're teaching them. And it's because, and you don't even realize it, you know, you're teaching those while you're healing yourself. So that's a very powerful energy, but you're also manifesting, you know, that manifestation card, which you don't realize you're, you're magnetic right now. And it was just one, 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 one on the clock or one, one, one on the clock, which is three. So look at this energy, a wish fulfillment, a star, you know, an answer to a prayer, a miracle. This is like unexpected income, wealth. This is you, you know, this is like manifesting, co-creating with source. This is a beautiful energy of, you know, tapping into your alchemical force, utilizing that alchemical force. There goes the six of swords. Getting away from the drama, getting away from the negativity. Maybe someone is coming toward you. This person can't take it anymore and they're leaving. Someone's leaving something behind. You know, maybe this person that took some time out is now approaching. With this six of swords, that's someone that moved away. So you could be at a distance from someone and this person is trying to figure out, you know, how they can um, come toward you. Because this is someone that's definitely like... You know, you may have moved away. You may have relocated. Maybe there's, you know, with this water, I do feel like, yeah, this is someone that is wanting to heal this connection. You may have moved away from someone just to get away from the, you know, the drama. You can see the, the shaky waters. Like, it's just showing that there was a lot of emotional, you know, a lot of emotional roller coasters, you know, just up and down and all around. And it was just really, really... um heavy energy to navigate at some point so let's get some messages from the dark Wimara, and then we're going to wrap it up i just want to get some additional messages so what we have here is we have the four of chalices so i was speaking to that energy of someone who felt like they missed an opportunity and if you look closely in the backdrop that's the tower so this is someone that does have regrets because there was a tower uh that occurred that 10 is in indicative indicating set such uh, a, an event that took place. So this 10 of uh, karmic completions is definitely saying that there was definitely some sort of endings, but every ending can denote a new beginning, or this could have been something that someone thought was going to blossom into this crashing and burning and having regrets, or finally realizing after some sort of karmic cycle that you were the one all along. And that's this person realizing, damn, that's the one that got away. This is someone that does want to communicate. They could be up writing inscribing love letters trying to get their words together because i was picking up where someone has something they wish to say but it's like they live in their head they're indecisive they're confused they're stuck it's like you know stuck in two minds and it's because they have a guilty conscience for the way that they may have behaved in the past um so let's tap in we want to find all of the clarifying messages and then we're going to wrap it up so what we have is the three of swords i mentioned the three of swords and then we also have the uh king of swords so this was someone that was very cold. They said things that was very cruel. They could have said things that were very cruel. They could have manipulated, could have been manipulative. But I feel like, you know, at some point you took your power back. You stopped caring. Maybe this is someone that talked like very negatively about you or gossiped about you or talked behind your back was very two faced. There was other people also in on the gossip, but you can see here, like you're not bothered. You're unbothered. If, if, if anything, they're more concerned about you than you are them. Your heart chakra has been closed off a long time ago. So you're not even giving them the satisfaction to, you know, respond or to react. Like you're just sitting here unbothered. You're not even afraid. You already see the forest from the trees. You see the devils for who they are. And that's this energy 
energy like this person could have been very very cruel um, i also feel like that could represent you just having clarity so this card is standing up and i feel like that's your message so look at this energy the eight of swords i was picking up someone that was very manipulative you was dealing with someone that wanted to see you hurt or wanted to keep you trapped remember i was saying someone was trying to dim your light or trying to steal the sunshine from you look at this energy this is a sicko this is someone obsessed with you. This is someone that's deranged even. This is someone who is like fake deep. You know what I'm saying? They act like their first eye is open, but they're really like a dark soul. So they may like be a shapeshifter. They may try to, you know, kind of get into your circle, your cipher by acting as if they have um, similar um belief systems or like they're like-minded but it's really just to suck your life force or steal your ideas or to control or manipulate you i feel like with this energy here you are definitely someone who is in there doing your own magic um because you know that this person was trying to keep you trapped or trying to keep you stuck and stagnant or someone was trying to be with you or put a spell on you and she's not just in there sitting still she's actually utilizing her power um, to break free from this illusion of entrapment. So this is really about taking your power back. With the 10, this is saying you have wrapped up this cycle. So whoever this was that thought that they could keep you in a perpetual state of confusion, now they're seeing that you are back in harmony and that cloud they was trying to keep over your head is now gone. Like you see the forest from the trees, as I said, because now you're back in harmony this is that masculine feminine energy and this is also you loving yourself because you are no longer self-sabotaging and overcompensating with anyone because you've cut those cords with the three of swords this is that person again that i was saying could have hurt you could have broke your heart or they could be suffering from the same pain that they may have inflicted upon you or others uh, whoever this is they have regrets um they see you now as someone that you know even though they may have hurt you it's like you're now to the point where whatever they put you through you're you're over it it doesn't affect you in the same way um even when there are um these you know the the gossip the negativity uh, maybe things may spread and come to you or you may feel certain negative vibes and it's like they try to send things to you they may think negative thoughts it gets back to you but you're protected you're guarded um and you're not you're not entertaining it because that's a huge part of how magic works is when you are just oblivious a oblivious to the fact that it's being done to you but also that you're not like you know protecting yourself you always have to have some sort of like circle of protection around yourself wear an amulet wear some sort of protective oils or just speak those positive energies upon yourself or call upon your angels and your ancestors but this energy here is definitely um you know she's unbothered she's not hurting anymore and i feel like that's why someone is really really confused conflicted struggling a little bit mentally uh because they're just indecisive on how to approach you or maybe this is someone that's finally realizes the jig is up um that they lost a real one a good one um the same four of chalices is here so this is how they still feel like you're 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 definitely not coming back. They definitely feel like you're over them. As I said, that chalice is closed. So you're not responding or receptive to them in the way that they may um, be hoping. We got the queen of swords here. So maybe they're projecting a little bit. This is actually the king of swords. So this is still the, um, no, this is the queen of swords, pardon me. So how they feel about you is they definitely, you know, this is, um, who or what you're attracting to you so how this person is presenting is that they want to communicate but they also may be trying to match the energy that they think you're giving off but how they feel about you is heavy regret they're missing you they they want to talk to you they know that this tower has occurred maybe during the scorpio full moon some things may come to light this person may also be someone just coming in for revenge i feel like this is also someone maybe now they're seeing things a little differently this could also be attributing to them you know maybe having some sort of grand epiphany with the queen of swords here because they were originally in the nine of swords energy so maybe this is the clarity you know that they need to you know perhaps set the record straight or get things you know prioritize what we have playing right now is we have um last words by Nas. so this person does want to get something off their chest 
Thank you, spirit. So last word. So this is someone that does want to express something, emote something finally, because they always, you know, kind of bit their tongue or didn't say how they truly felt. And I feel like someone is finally going to say something. Their fear is that you're going to chop their head off. Their fear is that you're not going to be receptive or that you're going to just be completely cut off, closed off from them. What we have on the bottom of the deck, they are missing you. And I'm hearing that um, Diana Ross song. Ooh. I'm missing you. I'm like hearing that song. So this is definitely someone who's like just sitting around reminiscing, daydreaming. You know, what did I say about them talking to someone else, trying to get some advice, seeking advice, you know, on how to take action or what to do. They're still, you know, kind of stuck between, you know, a rock and a hard place almost. You know, they're trying to really figure it out. I feel like they also know that because you're very intuitive, you're very, um, you know, very discerning that they got to come correct so they could be speaking to someone that's like a, like I said a trusted friend a matriarch patriarch but they're trying to get you know you know a little bit of strategy to approach you you know because they're seeking some sort of clarity some sort of light um we have the um knave of swords so they could be spying they could be watching they're not communicating at this time because I don't feel they have the confidence there but they're definitely they're definitely spying and watching and they see how guarded you are. Maybe they can tell that you're guarded or you're not open. Maybe you're single. Um, maybe you're just focused on your career or focused on your children at this time. Maybe they just, you know, have this assumption that you will be, you know, guarded. Um, whoever this is, this is how they see you. I definitely feel they're watching. Um, why is this 41 self-discipline, the five of cups, along with the seven of wands for what's hidden in the energy for my beloved Scorpio? Let me get a message. Thank you, spirit. So this is someone trying to come back. So this is definitely, uh, um, you know, this is a snake. This is someone very calculating, very cunning. And you're not trusting because you're trusting your intuition. I feel like that's why you're being guarded because you've learned the law, the hard way from the past by giving people, you know, the benefit of the doubt and trusting words, you know, that it, it, it's, it only leads to heartache, pain, disappointment and loss. And so now you're very guarded and you're more so looking for action and not just someone selling you words. This is a salesman. And look at that face. This is someone on demon time. This is someone also wearing a hoodie. So they're concealing their true intentions. Um, maybe this is someone coming back for revenge because you've been protecting yourself, because you've matured. So you're not allowing this person to come back in. And, and this person could be like, you know, because when people get rejected, they can take it very harsh and they can become very much vindictive and calculating and you know, scheming and plotting. Um, I definitely see here the sun. So you have a new beginning, a dawning of a new day, an exciting new period chapter in your life. And I feel like that's why someone is really saddened because you're moving on. I feel you're bumping into someone new, someone that's definitely a wish fulfillment because many of you mastered it or manifested it rather. Uh, with the six of wands, you're definitely going to have a victory over a hater who thinks that you're slow. Like this is someone who is definitely like a part of the da -dun -da -dun tr uh, crew because they come around pulling the same tricks, doing the same things. And it's like, they be telling on themselves because you already know, put the guard up. The guard stays up, but this type of energy is still trying to come around like boo-boo the fool, thinking that you're going to fall for the okie doke. And you're just looking at them like they're stuck on stupid because they are. And it's clear as day, you can see this person for who they are, you know, and they still think that somehow they're beguiling or, but the sun is shining, which means that there is nothing that could dim your light anymore or steal your sunshine anymore or rain on your parade because the sun is shining beloveds and that means beautiful days times are ahead of you because that cycle of confusion or toxicity or hurt and pain is over and now it's your time to shine so this is a beautiful energy you got the sun you got the stars here so wish fulfillments new beginnings blessings taking your power back strength all of this beautiful energy new love happiness prosperity gifts this is beautiful why is the 66 here that healing energy is there strength this is a beautiful energy of illumination, fresh starts, like how beautiful, rejuvenation. So we have this beautiful energy of the nine of chalices. So loving yourself is how you've got here. You got to first love yourself because that's an inside job in order to attract others. So how you treat yourself is how you attract others. So we have this energy of the nine of a knight of chalices. So this is someone coming in very chivalrous, someone very charming, someone that may want to apologize or someone that has something they want to offer, but you still have to use your intuition because the knights can rush in without really giving things good thought. 
and whoever this is that's just rushing in you got to be very mindful not to just get you know fall head over heels and watch and see if what someone's words are aligning with their actions uh so this is definitely telling you you know trust your intuition someone's about to come in and say you know some things um you know, that's very charming, very endearing, but you still got to use your intuition. Um, and I feel like you will because you have self-love, self-worth, you know, your value, you work too hard to get to this place, you know, and you're not going to just fall for anybody just, you know, using love bombing you or, you know, you're not falling for that because you have love of self first and you're holding your own cup, which means you're, you're fulfilled on your own. So you really not, you don't need someone else's cup. It would be nice, but you don't need it. And what's underneath that is the nine of swords. So this is that same person that could just be kind of like, you know, conflicted, you know, remember this nine of swords that flew out here. This is that same energy. You know, they're looking in the mirror. So the mirror is, you know, what reflects back. So this person is seeing, you know, themselves as a monster, seeing themselves in a very harsh way, you know, that could also be the reason why there's like this guilty conscious is maybe something does um, become very uh, clear, you know, that they've, they've done some really um, grievous things. They've hurt people. Um, and so they could really be, you know, wanting to take the time to, to fix those connections. That's what the healing is about as well. You know, because that six, six is the 12. So that's that person that does get that epiphany. And when you start healing, that means that you're working on yourself. Every great healer has to first heal themselves. So someone is realizing that they got to heal themselves if they want to have healthy relationships in the future. Or if they want to, you know, get past something that they may have been stuck on. You know, they have to start doing the work to heal themselves um, because this is just going to be like a perpetual cycle. And we also have the Knight of Swords. So a lot of Knights is coming out right now. The Knight of Swords, the Knight of Wands. Now you got the Knight of um, the Knight of Cups. So all of the Knights and the Knights, like I said, they just rush. They move without thinking. The only Knight that is trusting um, that you should trust is like the Knight of Pentacles because they do believe in taking their time to get things right. So they're more strategic. They plan more. This person is just like, they'll say anything that sounds good in the moment because they want what they want. So it could come off a little um, manipulative, you know, so this person could be saying very exciting things, things that they know may trigger you emotionally or interest you um, because maybe that's something that they may have learned about you, but this is not necessarily something that they can deliver. So I feel like that's why spirit was telling you also you know like to just you know use your intuition pay attention to your intuition how does things feel we don't just go solely on how someone sounds or what sounds good but it has to be what feels good next card we have is the knight of wands so you got the knight of wands twice in the reading because it's over here in um the person you're attracting but then you got three knights back to back and so you have three knights back to back and then you got the queen the king and the queen of swords here. A lot of sword energy. So I do feel someone really strongly desires to communicate. And I'm hearing to set the record straight or to clear the air. But I'm also getting a sense of like with this night energy here, you know, because this is like to me, um, like I said, it's not really reliable, but it could be um, someone really wanting to get something straight. Like this could be that that energy because someone was really, you know, kind of blocked off. Um, emotionally blocked off um, mentally and now this is just like you know just almost like they feel um, like almost like I gotta do this now or never so it's almost like yo I gotta be quick quick to to action you know so they, they could be a little um, what's that word I'm looking for you know, a little premature in their efforts because they're just so, it's like almost like anticipatory anxiety. And it's just like, let me just do it and get it over with. But with the King of Swords here, I feel like, you know, if you don't hear something that, that sits well in your spirit, because you speak energy, if it doesn't sit well in your spirit, you're cutting it off indefinitely. You're not going to entertain it. You're not going to be around people that you feel is talking holes in your head or talking in circles. Like you literally, you have no time for the nonsense. This is a very wise energy, an intellectual. This is not somebody that sits around and listens to a bunch of bamble, babbling at idiots. Like this is an intellectual. This is someone who has, you know, ideas and, you know, um, grand moves business moves to make this is not somebody sitting around entertaining fools so with that energy i do feel like you're cutting off what doesn't sit right feel right in your spirit 
uh, because that's just the time you're on. We also have the Knight of Pentacles. You got all the Knights that flew out. So with this Knight of Pentacles, I'm also getting a sense of like, you know, with these offers coming in, Spirit is giving you options. It's almost like you have options. And so Spirit is telling you to choose what works. Choose wisely. Because I was feeling like there was some sort of decisions or something that you had to do. But it requires divine timing. And so just because people rushing in to say things, people rushing in to tell you how they feel, people rushing in to give you a piece of their mind, or people rushing in to offer you love, Spirit is telling you, to accept the offer that is, you know, well thought out, something that feels like it can stand the test of time, something that feels authentic and genuine, but not just somebody talking because they have lips, because I feel like you've dealt with people who are like salesmen, people who do this, like, you know, try to sell you things in dark alleys. There it is. You know, and, and that's why spirit is saying, look, trust your intuition because you're going to have a lot of people trying to sell you dreams or you're going to have a lot of people trying to align themselves with you because why? Well, because you're in the spotlight, you know, you're manifesting new things in your life. You're having new beginnings. And that always is, you know, a reason for people to um, become very jealous or become very envious. And so they may try to sabotage. That's why I was picking up like a saboteur in your environment because we saw that 15 twice. Um, and um, I was just explaining um, you know, the 15 is, um, the, uh, no, we saw the sixes and I was saying even the devil is fi um, six because it, the 15 breaks down. So that, that devil energy is really someone that could be kind of trying to mirror you and look what flew out. So pay attention, beloveds. There's two of pentacles. You see that? This is someone that was indecisive in the past. And remember when we were showing that five of pentacles, where did that go? The five of pentacles from traditional tarot. And I was speaking to how someone was juggling another person. And then they was giving all their time and energy to the person they was indecisive with. And I was saying that this, this was a karmic situation that was taking place and that you have, you're, that someone's going to have, you know, some regrets for the decisions that they've made. Well, this is that decision, but this is that person, you know, they were, they, they literally like, this is the death. This is that person that you trusted and in trusting them, it led to some disappointment it led to hurt this is that person that's hooded again this is that same person that's been following you through this whole you know reading this is someone that could definitely have it out for you someone jealous or envious of you but with the two of pentacles when you may have discovered this person was juggling i definitely feel like they're going to become very like vindictive or um they're going to try to harm you in some way and i feel like spirit is telling you let me get one more message because I don't like leaving the, mess the reading off on that note. But this is definitely someone that, you know, could be, you know, dibbling and dabbling in like some magic as well. You know, because this book, you can see this book. This is like the book of shadows here. And that with that infinity, you know, that infinity, I was speaking to um, this being an eight universal year. And the infinity is literally um, the eight sideways. So I do feel like whoever this person was initially that was trying to juggle you is absolutely going to receive karma. Because, you know, with this eight, the book, books always represent knowledge. And I feel like you may have learned someone was doing you dirty or someone was, um, you know, kind of sabotaging, was talking back, talking behind your back, being two-faced, being, you know, just, just the devil, you know, in your life and concealing their intentions, having some deep-rooted hate or disdain towards you. And it's like you discover it. And I feel like this is what protects you is because you, you're a genuine heart. You know, you were never like ever trying to harm anyone else. But I feel like you you learned something from someone. And this is what taught you to, you know, not just give people the benefit of the doubt, but make them earn your trust. What we have playing right now is we have um, Al Green and it says, I'm glad. OK, just change. So it says Fuji's vocab. So when I hear Fuji's, this could be someone that you definitely um, cause I'm hearing refugees. I'm hearing someone that you could have definitely, um, I just feel like, you know, cause I think of a refugee camp and that's almost like, it's like a prison or like, you know, um, and that's how I'm feeling like this person and there goes the hangman again. I can't make this up. Every card that I discussed is showing up. 
But I feel this person, look at this. This person is really trying to take someone out. So with that um, refugee, I definitely feel like this is someone. And the hangman came out. And the four of swords. Okay, this makes so much sense. So you heal, because you discovered who this was. You know, this is like, you can see the person's face clear as day. You hear their voice. So you discovered who this was. So there's two, you know, of um, pentacles, whoever this was that was initially juggling you. I feel that's the person now that's having heavy regret, you know, because you can see them, the hangman. This is somebody that could have been, you know, dealing with some addictions, afflictions. But they're definitely sitting here and mourning the loss, the death of a relationship. Remember I was saying someone missed an opportunity. Someone's going to feel like they missed an opportunity because I definitely feel like you're coming into a new partnership. And there goes the Queen of Pentacles. You could do good on your own and you definitely attract others on your frequency, other like minds. So this is your energy right here. You're feeling like very self-sufficient, very stable. And this person has heavy regrets because now they see your worth and value and they took you for granted and they chose another option that led to their heartache. And now they're disappointed and they're feeling shameful. They're feeling heavy regrets. They definitely are reflecting on all of those times that they were, um, you know, very much disappointing you or deceiving you or dishonest. And this is you here, Queen of Pentacles, taking care of you, yourself, and you. Very stable, self-sufficient, very grounded, very loving. You're just like, you know, very domestic, all about your family. And that goes well with this energy here of, you know, the Ten of Pentacles. Because this is exactly what you draw in, what you attract with the Queen of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. This is happily ever after. And this is two people who are very practical, very resourceful, you know. So this energy is very much... Um, similar in nature. So you're going to attract someone that's going to be very grounded, uh, someone that's going to, you know, really um, ground you. You know, this is a very beautiful connection um, that you're attracting to you. Let me see what's underneath that. Yep. The wheel of fortune. Oh no, the 10 of pentacles again. I can't make this up. And what did I say? Y'all are manifesting this. So y'all could have been up at night manifesting this, calling in, drawing this in. You know, this is, you know, this is wifey material. This is that pre emperor status. So you are very attractive and you're attracting someone that can definitely see look happily ever after or forever with you. And this is something you could have been manifesting. Today is Mama um, Oshun's day and she did show up earlier. And I was speaking to that energy be very, uh, being very like attractive, very fertile. Uh, so some of you could be doing, you know, like a little um, Mama Oshun ritual today. Um, with a yellow candle and some honey and some sugar and some love potion or whatever it is that you utilize. But y'all could be doing that to draw in love, to draw in abundance. Whatever it is you're doing, it's happening. It's happening in real time. And with this beautiful Ten of Pentacles, I just feel like you're, you're going to feel, you know, not only emotionally fulfilled, but financially fulfilled. I feel like you're going to definitely feel, you know, elated and overjoyed and it's because something that you've co-created with source universe is manifesting and materializing and someone can't get you off their mind like they literally you live in this person's brain like they've been thinking about your behind since the beginning of the reading and this could be someone that cares about you or someone that can't stop thinking about you like like i said like that devil type of energy like someone obsessed with you because I feel like you got past people that's obsessed with you, that you cut off, that have regrets. And then I feel like you got new love coming in, like someone you manifested. Someone that may feel familiar because this is like, you know, that energy of someone that could be like a past life love. Especially with all those sixes showing up. Hi, Katara. Hi, my friend. Hi, my baby friend. Hey. Right now we have Right on Time featuring Darian. So this person is going to be manifested in your life on time. Like I kept saying all, all through the reading, divine time and divine time and good things take time to create. And that's what spirit is confirming. So this prayer, this wish, this mantra, this affirmation, this petition that you sent up to the ancestors, the angels, to the deities, it is manifesting and materializing in real time. And that's what this song is singing right on time. This person that you manifested is coming right on time and they're going to bring you love and somebody going to be pissed off, hating, crying. And it's because they done messed up a good thing and they drove you off pretty much. They done drove you away. And so, you know, you, when you drive a divine feminine, divine masculine away, it's nothing for them to attract, you know, new energy. So 
with this king of cups with his eyes on you and this king you know all these beautiful energy just you know attracted to you you're you're bound to 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 um you know step into a cycle of love you know this is your season of receiving scorpios um we got this full moon energy so this is very powerful time right now to really start you know tapping into your power you know but this is a beautiful reading thank you so much for you know taking this ride with me i appreciate you all for checking in tuning in if you are new i hope the message is resonated i hope that you enjoy the reading and that you like the way that i read if you did again Thumb up the video, subscribe to the tribe. Thank you all for being here. Until next time, I send a big fat out yo. And my nose has been itching throughout this whole reading. I want you to know that I've been tugging and a pulling and my nose. And, and, and for anyone that doesn't know, whenever my nose gets to tingling, this message is for some of y'all out there. This is definitely confirmation. So thank you, Spirit, for tuning in, for helping me to, you know, deliver this message, for using me as a vessel. And we are signing off. Infinite love and light, y'all. Peace.